This place is a wrecking yard. Of all the road trips in the league, you think Townsville and Melbourne and Canberra, forget them all. The trek up the M4 in Sydney to Penrith is the hardest in the modern game. It's coming on nearly three years since they lost here. They're going for their 20th in a row tonight and Corey Oates is back in try scoring form. Billy Slater, a hat-trick against the Roosters last week. He's been in great form, Corey. He scored three last week, but it's his work through the backfield that gets the Broncos sets off to a good start. He's looking good, Corey. And Adam Reynolds, uh, so much pressure on his shoulders. Jake Turpin, the number nine. He loves the tough stuff. Just on Corey, too. He has a size advantage over his opponent, Charlie Staines. Look, he has a size advantage over most wingers in the competition, of course, but it is pronounced, and I would imagine it'll be a tactic to kick to his wing and try and get him above Staines. Yeah, Cobbo also. May and Staines up against Oates and Cobbo. It's a mismatch. We'll see some kicks going to the edge for the Broncos. So this Panthers team, uh, with a win tonight, will make them the first team since Melbourne a decade ago to start consecutive seasons with victories in their first six games. We had 20,000 here for the grand final rematch against South a fortnight back and tonight Blue Bet Stadium is jumping again, particularly on the back of the news of the Clearies recommitting to this club until the end of season 2027. And the scariest thing about this, Andrew Johns, they're the best team in the league. They're also the youngest team in the league. The average age is under 25 years. Well, it's only early in the season, but I think they're a better team this year than they were last year. They're a year older. They're just so hungry. Coming in the ground tonight, the fans, they are just all buzzing. Ivan, the coach, spoke about representing the community. The whole town is buzzing. I wanted to highlight Taylor May. Six tries in three appearances this season, and he's an illustration of the production line of talent that this club has. No Brian yeah, Toto. They've slipped Taylor May into this team, and he has been brilliant. So Nathan Cleary will... We'll get this game underway. Last year was a wretched campaign for the Broncos, but they went close against the Panthers twice. 18-12 in round 19 and 20-12 in round six. Can they do something similar, albeit without some big guns tonight? So the Broncos, they haven't played many games here at all. In fact, at their first visit to this ground since 2016. And they, they come here without Payne Haas, of course, and the news of Herbie Farnworth's omission came through yesterday. Tessie New, and here's the new face in the lineup, Deloise Hoyter. He's waited seven years for a crack at NRL after debuting with the West Tigers in 2015. Played here by the grand final winning Panther, Kurt Capel, and to Keenan Palacia who is confronted by a three-man tackle. Fisher-Harris there with Yo. Turpin for Reynolds. Our first aerial assault of the night, and Dylan Edwards, the leading metre eater in the competition, 200 metres more than the next best, and that's Jason Talmalolo, who actually has played an extra game. So that's, that's how well he's going, this Penrith number one. Yeah, it was a confident start by the Brisbane Broncos, shifting the ball in set one and already we've seen an offload for the Panthers they've got some shape out on the left we're going to see an entertaining game of footy here tonight and Fisher Harris what a mighty prop forward he is no nonsense early ball here for kick out and he gets it back along the ground and Coruscant waiting and as ever Edwards there in support and Penrith have worked their way just outside Brisbane's 20 and it'll go away to Luai, who'll go through the hands here. Tago rolls it to the end goal. Clear is after it! Oh. oh, that was awfully tight in the end. Wow, that was close. That was closer than Tessie knew imagined. Well, it looked too big off the boot. Luai fires a bullet out to Tago, last tackle. And he drops it on the boot, and it looked way too big. It looked like it was going to go dead for all money. Tessie knew lets it 
go and oh mm. he's picked an injury up after that challenge there Tago hobbling back oh. after he kicked that ball he looks in all sorts over there on that left side it's been a revelation this year they're going to head towards him now and Tessie knew uh, he gets him around the boot laces and uh, Jerome Luai part of the tackle as well ball played to Staggs and to the centre of the ground, it's Corey Jensen, who's got the shoes of Payne Haas to fill tonight. Outside the 30 metres. And Reynolds now, he'll throw it in the boot. Oates is after it, it's into the corner. Oh, Dylan Edwards, if you don't mind. He wanted it to bounce over. It actually kicked back in field, but off Corey Oates' leg, it goes over the touchline. Billy, in that position, what are you thinking as a fullback? Well, you're trying to be patient. You try, you want the ball to, to go over the, the sideline, a little bit like Tessie knew in the set before, just willing it over the dead ball line. But you've got to be careful in those positions. I like the warning shot by Adam Reynolds, early kick, fourth tackle. Just puts a question mark in Charlie Staines' head. Do you come up or do you stay back? Isaiah Yo. He was given an early mark against Canterbury last week. Played 57 minutes. He's normally out there for the duration. Oh, Fisher Harris. Straight through a big hole. He's a good player. And he got up to the halfway and Corris out for Cleary on his first high ball of the evening. Selwyn Cobbo, the young gun, is, is there to take the catch. JT, you are so popular, they're even applauding you in Penrith these days. They love you in the crowd. That was good before. It certainly was, Tomo. Uh, great scenes over there. Like I spoke, free game, 8,500 they've averaged uh, this year. Great conditions down here tonight, 17 degrees, a little bit of wind behind the Panthers, but nothing too much. So, like Joey said, a little bit greasy underfoot, but... Certainly going to see an entertaining game. And no need for the, the hand mitts tonight, Jonathan. No, I left them at home. Yes, well done. He left them in Canberra. Oh, that's, a, that's a, a flat kick by Reynolds that was very close to the touchline. It was a beautiful kick. I saw him in the warm-up. He was looking at the conditions. Watch how he hits this really low and hard, knowing that it'll skid out. Mm. I don't think he wanted to get it that close. No. He nailed it, low and hard. Just the opening couple of sets, just at home, watch the trickery around the ruck of Appy Coruscant, the way he double pumps and no-look passes, which draws in the markers but then gets his big men over the advantage line. It's a real art form. He does it so well. Stephen Crichton now. 18 games on this ground at NRL level for 18 wins. It is remarkable. In fact, Isaiah Yo, his record, he's played his last 30 NRL games for 29 wins. These are rare numbers that the Panthers are, uh, are posting individually and as a team. Out the back now, Cleary for Martin. Good tackle. And Capewell around the legs. Martin wanted to play it quickly. He bombs away. Cobbo. He's a target tonight for this high stuff. He takes it nicely, but he's driven back towards the goal line. Looks like Tago's recovered from that inconvenience. And now Katoni Staggs. How about his performance last week? Well, he had 14 runs and 14 tackle breaks. Yeah. Incredible performance with the football last week, Katoni Staggs. A couple of hundred running metres for a centre. Turpin for Palacia. Plays at centre field. And here's Jensen. One of only five Broncos who have actually played here at Blue Bet Stadium. Oh, that one's taken a deflection off Penrith, and it's a, a dangerous situation, but Luai with desperation to dive on it. That's a rule there. Look at Taylor May! Look at Taylor May! No one wanted to tackle him. He's run for 40 metres. And Edwards, they're going to try to spin it here. Some shoddy defence early by Brisbane, it must be said. And here's Martin. Breaks inside the 20 now. 
played it quickly. Hoyter is the tackler. Cleary working in the middle of the field. Shows a dummy. Nearly through a gap. Desperation by Reynolds, but they're going to head left here. One bounce. Tago over to Taylor Mays. Lost the ball over the sideline. There was a real chance on the left-hand side of the field. The pass just couldn't find its mark. And this is, this is the kick into the referee. Now, the referee, at his discretion, can call a scrum to the kicking side or allow play to, to roll on. That was the right decision. Yeah, I thought it was an automatic scrum. But that was the right decision by the referee. Well, just some worrying signs for Brisbane's defence, Andrew. Fisher Harris picking up metres and then Taylor May that time. There's some worrying signs on their right side. Mm. And obviously the combination kick out. Oh, that'll help. This will help, right? But yeah, the left side Not good of enough. Penrith. You Not get the feeling enough. they may have some fun tonight. Now, there's a real opportunity here for the Brisbane Broncos. They need to take this good field position. Finding it really difficult to get out of their own end where Panthers, on the other hand, are just rolling down the field and they go set to set like the best of them. So here go the Broncos. What can Adam Reynolds and his team come up with here? Jensen. Strong run from the former Cowboy. A tackle there by Eisenhuth. They play left to Kobe Hetherington. And he'll get within 22 metres of Penrith's line. They concede less than two converted tries a game on average. This Panthers outfit. So it is a very difficult defensive line to crack. Reynolds with numbers stacked on the right. Touched over the back by May. That was nice. It was really hard to attack against teams with fullbacks in the line. But you'll see on this occasion, Dylan Edwards parks himself behind the the play the ball so Adam Reynolds uses his greatest asset his kicking game and another warning shot with Adam Reynolds's boot Katoni Staggs chasing Ricky's there as well it he, he was in the line for four tackles well it's so hard to break the defensive line of the Penrith Panthers because Dylan Edwards does a great job to get in the line and they're happy to concede another set and that comes Palacia. Handy forward, this guy. He's played 80 minutes a couple of times this year. He'll start in the middle and he'll move out to an edge. He's, he's copped one around the schnoz there, I think. Turpin, nice pass to Reynolds. And that one out in front of Staggs. He beats Tago. Staggs through. Back on the inside to Tessie New. And Brisbane have scored the first try. Well, there's nothing doing. Wow. And this is what you get when you've got an absolute powerhouse in the centres. You just throw in the ball. And Adam Reynolds sees it. Harvey Norman replay just gets the ball, sees some space, and just throws it. Says here, and it's yours. Beats him on the outside. Show, fend, and then finds a pass on the inside. What a fight. Yeah, great lesson here for Isaac Tago. He just leaves his feet. He's got to keep his feet underneath him. Just watch the centre for the Penrith Panthers diving at Katoni Staggs. 14 tackle breaks last week. And there's another one. Beautiful offload to Tessie New, who backs up on the inside. And talk about taking your opportunities. The Broncos, they draw first blood first here. JT. Yeah, it's great work by Tessie New. He was actually behind the play of the ball and comes around to the right and be a trail runner on the inside of Katoni Staggs. So he puts a lot of effort in that area. And as we spoke about pre-game, how dangerous Katoni Staggs is one-on-one. -on -one. And that's what the Broncos have done, is executed to get Katoni one-on-one -on -one and Tessie New back through the middle. Great play by the Broncos. He got around Tago, and then Luai came, and he just swatted him off. Watch this. It's to the outside, and watch when Luai, he comes across and cover, and watch this fan. Bush. Mm. Well, they were despised outsiders. Brisbane outfit. They have scored first, and this kick from Reynolds is successful.
Little say Tessie knew on the scoreboard, but that was all Katoni Staggs playing unbelievably well at the moment. Good timing too, isn't it, with Latrell? Unlikely for Origin 1. He's a, he's a right side player primarily, but it'd have to be there in Freddie's thinking, maybe him on the right and Turbo on the left. Walters. Martin. Front on tackle. Oh, Jensen. Hit hard there by Fisher Harris. They don't like conceding points, the Panthers. You can see it here in some of these tackles. Well, it's the first time they've conceded the first try this year. So the scoreboard pressure for the first time on the Panthers early in this one. Reynolds inside 40. Kicks down the field. And, uh, and Dylan Edwards racing back. 515 kick return metres before tonight. That's 200 more than the next best in that area as well. And the reason for that is he just runs it so hard on kick reception. Just watching Liam Martin, right back rower for, for Penrith. He's hobbling in back play. That's a knee. Looks like he's really strong. Now, Yo. Four Man of the Match awards in a row to start the year for Isaiah. Cleary. They've kicked exclusively to Cobbo's side of the ground. And Selwyn beats the first and the second and nearly the third. It's a bit of a tactic. With that kick over there, nearly pulled their pants down, the Panthers. Here's Tessie New. He's top five in the league for tackle breaks this year, Tessie. There's a bit to like about the Broncos here tonight. They've, they've looked at dicey in defence, but their, their ball boom has been pretty convincing so far. And Palacia will get them up to the halfway line on play five. Reynolds. Tough one here for Edwards. The kick chase is good, and Hetherington, the key man down there to make the tackle. Played to Luai, and here's May. And the St Mary's junior, Isaac Tago. That's a good run, and a good play of the ball. Corosau trying to pinch a penalty. He'll get six more because it was outside the 40. That would have been a penalty if it was inside Penrith's red zone. So that might be a little bit of impetus that the Panthers need here. Back-to-back -back sets, and they are working up the ground now. And Eisenhuth. And Palacia and Hetherington combine in the tackle. Yo now. now. Reynolds smartly out of the line to cut off Cleary's outside options, but they go back to the middle where Yo is tackled. Centre field. Four metres out when he played it. Here's Luai, here's Viliami, kick out, and Taylor May gets hammered by Cobbo. Nice read on that side of the ground. Looked like they were destined to score there. And a good scramble by the Broncos. They're going to bring it over the other side of the ground. Now Crichton tries to step inside. He, he throws it out of the left hand. It's the last play. Clear he's going to stab it through. <laughs> He just, just rolls it in and gets six more after they've explored both sides. Great defence. That's great defence. Just watch Katoni Staggs, the speed, get him out of trouble here. And Selwyn Cobbo knows what he's got on the inside. And Katoni Staggs just accelerates. This is the kick at the end of it. Nice patient play by Cleary, but it was great defence by the Brisbane Broncos for that set. And they've got another six tackles to repel the Panthers here. Oh, Reynolds. Oh, oh wow. Yeah. Too That's good. too good. Well, the Panthers were set up for a short kick. High one. And Stephen Crichton was infield on the 10-metre line, waiting for the high kick. And Adam Reynolds just drills it straight at him. That was so good. Mm. Jordan. 
Big play that by Reynolds. His team already faced consecutive defensive sets there. And one more it might have just been the, the straw that broke the defensive wall, perhaps. Well, even if your team is getting bashed up, in particular, your forwards, if you've got a great kicking game, you can keep your team in the game. And that shows it there from Reynolds. It's a massive play. Straight away, it's up! Hold to road, hold! Hold! Jensen playing out the back to Walters. And Jensen once again, he's been busy. He's been good, hasn't he? Really good. And here's the skipper to Taylor Mays. Wing taken by Cobbo. Selwyn Cobbo with a brilliant take, but there's enough Panther jerseys to deny him. Well, that's 10 sets from 10 sets for the Brisbane Broncos. When you come here to Penrith and they're looking for 20 consecutive wins at home, you need to complete your sets, and the Broncos have started in excellent fashion here tonight. They don't look overawed. In fact, you would probably say the longer the game goes, the more comfortable Brisbane are feeling about things at the moment. Here's Crichton. That's a good run. He breaks the first line of defence and gets his team going forward. Here's Fisher Harris. Last play. Luai is in position to kick. And, uh, and gets it into the corner. Tessie New. Driven back. Cleary down there. Yo as well, the two skippers. Here's Oates. And Hoyter. And playing with Winner Manley in the uh, Queensland Cup. And now Corey Jensen once again. Yo, the tackler. Right, they come through. Hetherington, Reynolds, New Stags. One-handed catch. He's got that palm out again on Luai. He just didn't get a clean catch on that Katoni Stags. If he did, there was trouble for the Panthers. Jerome Luai is going to wake up with a big handprint on his chest tomorrow morning. Oh, Staines rocks. And Crichton now. I don't think he's been an interchange, has he yet? Not yet. Got a lot of ball in play here, haven't we? Very little stoppage. The tackle count restart. Cleary now. Turpin with the defence. Corris out. Here's the change. Sorensen always brings energy and power off the bench for the Panthers. There's a quick play of the ball. There's Corris out with a run. There's Edwards and now Martin. He tried to trample Hetherington. He'll play it quickly as well. The Panthers just turning up the volume a little bit here perhaps. Sorensen off an inside pass. They're inside the 10 now. Turpin with the tackle. Corris will play to the left. Cleary. In traffic, gets it away to Luai! And the Panthers and New South Wales number six will get the first points for the home team. Yeah, the guys on the inside did their job, created the space for Jerome Luai. And Tony Staggs was waiting for help from the inside, but as the Harvey Norman replay shows here, Cleary goes right to the line and Kickout does his job to take Adam Reynolds away and then there was a clear passage to the line for Jerome Luai and the Panthers strike back. You could feel it coming, couldn't you? You could feel it coming. And you spoke about it, Billy. It was it was the decoy or the strong run from, from kick out and what it does to the defensive line, in particular Adam Reynolds, which then it's a domino effect, the way it affects the defenders on the outside. Kick out runs a really strong line. Just let, let the play roll. His kick out here. Watch his big 
run, strong run there. And it brings in Adam Reynolds, makes a three on two on the outside. Reynolds goes in, Katoni Stag's going out. Big, big gap. That's this the... will show it perfect. Reynolds goes in, Katoni Stags is going out. We've all got to work together. That's the first try assist for the season for Nathan Cleary. But he does that multiple times in a game. Takes the ball right to the line. Engages the defence and that creates space for his outside men. Jerome Luai on that occasion. Sneaks it through. Six points apiece now. Jerome Luai with the try, Nathan Cleary with the goal. You could just feel that coming, Billy, couldn't you? They, they, they just turned up the intensity there with the ball, Penrith, and rolled up the centre. Well, they're the best team in the competition going set for set, and, and then they can strike off the back of it. And Adam Reynolds is aware of that. He's, he's kicked into touch early in this game to give his team less fatigue and build the confidence in the Brisbane Broncos. But... The Penrith Panthers, and Andrew John spoke about that trickery out of dummy half. Once they get that set on set, they're so hard to contain. Sideline, JT. Yeah, thanks, Tomo. There has been a couple of stoppages throughout this match so far, but when the ball is in play, the Penrith Panthers' power game, like now Dylan Edwards through that middle part of the field, is really putting the Broncos on the back foot. Oh, here's a Cleary special. Here's a test. Ah, oh, well taken, Selwyn Cobbo. But Sorensen races down there. Cobbo evaded him. Fisher Harris and Martin with the tackle. Well, that's Nathan Cleary's zone. When they play the ball's between the 40 metres mm. and the halfway, he's putting the floater up. I don't know that he actually hit that one as cleanly as some of the others. He's got a good 10, 15 metres higher than that in him. So Ryan James is out there now. So. Kevin Walters looking to his bench and Capel. It's been a really good game to start with. How many penalties? One penalty, only two six to go. It's going to be real fatigue in this game. Fourth tackle kick there. And Edwards collared by Jordan Ricky. Ryan James comes in to finish that tackle off. Staines. You remember last year, Charlie um, was always oh, made a mistake here, and he was he was left out of Penrith's team late in the season. And I wonder what Ivan Cleary's thinking when he gets Brian Tottle back. It'd be hard to leave Taylor May out the way he's playing. It's a good headache to have. Yeah. And this is what the fourth tackle kick does. It reduces the amount of time you have to make an error, and it increases it on the opposition. And here come the Broncos. Some good field position. New to Ricky. Tago with an excellent read in combination with Luai. But Brisbane with good attacking ball here. Reynolds, Walters, and uh, Hoyter. Can't get in and away. That's a good tackle by Crichton. Just in from the sideline. 17 metres out from Penrose goal line now. Here's Reese Kennedy playing game two of the season for him. Turpin for Ryan James. Collides with Isaiah Yo on tackle five. What's uh, Reynolds got coming for us here? He's standing very deep. They're going to go away from him. It's new to the in goal. Oh, it'll be a try. Staines was too slow. Katoni Staines. Charlie Staines had the ball there, but didn't make a play at it. And, uh, and the Broncos have nabbed one. Is it, sorry, it might be Tessie New again. No, is it Stags or New? Well, Stags. 
It was Tessie New he kicking the football. Harvey Norman replay. Again, yeah. Dylan Edwards in the line. Oh. Allows a 50-50 ball for Katoni Staggs. And you give Katoni Staggs a 50-50 opportunity, and he's going to take it every day of the week. What a grab. Does he keep possession? Oh, no. Oh, he dropped it. He's dropped it. And I've got to apologise to Charlie Staggs. It's Taylor May on that side of the ground. But uh, it looks like they're going to dodge a bullet here. To see whether Katoni Staggs maintains possession of the ball. He definitely drops it. or kick chases. Oh. Does his hand leave the ball? Does he lose possession, as they say? Katoni Staggs touches the ball first, loses possession, and, and fails it. to regain it before it touches the ground. Oh, real opportunity. Decision. Real opportunity missed there by the Brisbane Broncos. Tessie New kicking the ball. I thought they made the wrong decision. Adam that Reynolds was on the left. Up, could have kicked it to Corey, Corey Oates. Corey Oates on Staines. That's what I was thinking, Bill. Well, it's a good result for me. I got the wrong defender and the wrong try scorer. <laughs> but that's the second time. They've looked likely with a little poke to the end goal down. That, uh, that side of Penrith's defence. Here's kick out with one heck of a wind up. Look at that. And now Fisher Harris. Oh, that's a great run. 15 metres is picked up there. Sorensen. He breaks through the line. Hold it. Uh, really running strongly. Cleary with a, a kick towards Corey Oates. He came charging onto that. How did he catch that? Well, he got there late. <laughs> I don't think he was even looking at it. Everyone else missed it. <laughs> it fell in his, uh, in his bread basket. Well, he showed plenty of courage. He got there really late, Corey Oates. He didn't even have time to jump. He just fell in his lap. Here it is here. Oh. <laughs> Takes his eyes. That's courage. Oh, juggle there by New. But he, he regathers and bumped away from kick out. Okay, fourth tackle, and they're, they're jammed down here inside the 40. Here's Kennedy. Big athletic front rower. Oh, he's offloaded here to a Panther. Coruscant's got the ball back. And now Luai. Ducked under a tackle by Ricky. Got it back to Fisher Harris. And Brisbane will just need to have their wits about them here. A turnover. And Penrith, they love to pounce on this sort of stuff. Tackle count restart. Sorensen powering his way. Down inside the 10, James with the tackle. Left plays Corusau. Cleary dummies, tries to duck through. Can't evade Turpin, who had another. He held him far too long there. It'll be six again, again. You want to be careful here, the Brisbane Broncos. Coruscant sends it to Luai. He was trying to get one-on-one -on -one there with Jordan Ricky. Happy Coruscant. Luai, a metre short. Coruscant plays deep to Cleary. Now Martin. Still got a heap of tackles left. They stack the short side and... Uh, Staines tries to put it down, but it's come off a of Penrith hand here. Well, it's gone forward, it's gone it? forward for sure. Kevin Walters will be really proud sitting up in the box watching his team defend their try line set after set. They gave two penalties away in this area as we look at the pass here from Appy Coruscant. Just wait, it could be short. Ball comes off the left arm of Stephen Crichton. So get Just going to see which direction it goes. The ball goes forward. It's not gone. It's not gone. Kick it. And the knock on is then negated. We have a decision. He grabs it, which negates the knock on. Nothing. Scrum, guys. And even the effort from Scrums. Hoyter Scrums. right at the end there. Desperation on their try line. He negates it once he gets it. Never giving up. Scrum, middle. 
play these top sides. Just watch the center here. Hoiter, get out. Or it's, it's, yeah, it's Hoiter. Putting his body on the line. Okay, James. Nice and tight. Thanks, Dylan. Hold in there for the call. Break! Corey Oates with the first carry off the scrum. Cleary there to make the tackle. Well, they had a 10 0 lead at halftime last week, this Brisbane outfit. And really had the chance to beat the Roosters. And they find themselves wow. right in the game here as well against the Premiers. That was a bone rattling shot by kick out. You flop in and then it's slow. And that was on the back of that strong run. Plays short, Adam Reynolds. Gets the half and the back rower into play. Then the, the outside defence for Penrith is retreating. That's how we got the penalty. Nice play doubling up on your short passing. And here's Kennedy, who offloaded last time. An errant offload, which landed with Chorus out. TC Rabati. Wearing 16 into the game. Turpin to Reynolds, to Walters, to Oates. Ah, good tackle, Charlie. Oates flings it back. There's a penalty after he was held. He passed the ball, says the referee. Great tackle, Staines. It was, it was great attack, but it was great defence. Reynolds goes to the line, looks in, then plays out, and they create an overlap, three on two. But then great scramble. Oh, good that was really good footy. Yeah. Great attack, great defence. Look, looks in, plays out. Charlie Staines. Amazing football IQ there. He had two players to defend. He had to look at the centre and the winger. He picked the right option there. So Martin, haven't seen all that much of him so far tonight. And wrapped up in the tackle of Hoyter, who chases hard from Marker and... <laughs> yeah, well, he's making the most of an unexpected chance in NRL. He's slow to get up there, Deloise Hoyter. Darren Lock, oh, Darren Lock, you said uh, to me before the game that he is just super, super fit. He just goes as hard as he can all game. Well, he will tonight. Yeah. Seven years since his last NRL game. Blue eye now. Oh, oh. Tago on the receiving end of a stinger. That was Jordan Katone. Ricky. Katoni was downstairs. There. Wow. Oh, they let him catch that, and then it's been stripped away by Capewell on Crichton. No challenge. It. He lets it go. Yeah. When it's a last tackle, when someone gets tackled, everyone is around the ball. Please challenge it. This is a bad call. This Please. is a really bad call. Please challenge it. Challenge it. Here's the shot like a Tony Staggs oh. and Jordan Ricky. Oh, wow. You're right. Katoni was underneath. And Ricky came over the top. Bang. They're not challenging. So Sorensen now. And tackled by James. Brisbane's goal on defence has been very good so far. A number of chances for the home team down here. Let's see if they could make one stick. Cleary now, Martin, Walters, excellent tackle. Then capable to help. The defence strong, doesn't he, Walters? Yo with a dummy. And there's four Broncos around him. Six metres out, middle of the ground. Cleary, he cut out Luai to find Tago that time. Staggs gets him. There's an appeal for a high shot by the Panthers. <laughs> and the crowd. He's going to eat him. Now Cleary bangs it towards the upright. And the Walters watches it go over the back. Let me see that tackle again. Katoni on the try line. He throws everything. You need the captain to do it. That tiger. <laughs> Just watch this. Oh, boy. <laughs> it goes, Steve! Get Charlie up. 
James out the back, Reynolds. One bounce, Stags. Oh dear, oh dear. Tago knows he's in a game tonight. Down the wing they go. New is backing up a kick here. Edwards gets across just. Well, it was great attack for Tony Stags. It was about five metres inside Tago, but he still wanted the outside of him, and he got it. Put his man, Selwyn Cobbo, down the sideline, but just watch the work of Nathan, Nathan Cleary here from the other side of the field, anticipates the danger Cleary, and yeah. comes across and saves the day. That is a captain's moment right there. Brilliant work. I wonder how Katoni Staggs looks in blue. I think it might suit him. Now Tessie yeah, right. New's got a little issue. Watch him get the ball here. He's inside his man, but he still wants the outside. <laughs> Just off that left foot. Got that left fend up. And Billy, the kick from Cobbo, I'm pretty sure he's left-footed. He runs with the ball in his left hand. He, I'm pretty sure he's left-handed. Oh, Tessie's off. That's a that's a talented edge. He's had a good game so far tonight, Tessie News. That's a that's a big loss. Now, what's what's the reshuffle look like here? Air swing. CC Rabati rumbles back and oh, gets some some defensive treatment as well. Um, Spencer Lee news on the ground now. I'm just trying to see what the shuffle up is here, Billy. Yeah. Is it Cobo? A lot of people have been asking for Selwyn Cobo to, to go to fullback, and it looks like he's moved into the middle of the field, so they might get their wish. Might be a dress rehearsal for things to come, perhaps. Reynolds dodges Sorensen once, not twice. This has been good football. The Broncos are aiming right up here. Rabati running powerfully. Last tackle now. Lenu and Yo, the tacklers. Walters tries to roll it through straight in the Liam Martin's leg. Yeah, Selwyn Cobbo's gone back to fullback, and Kurt Capewell's gone to the right wing. This year's been some young players exploded. One of the NRL seen last night, we had Lukey, Nenai, mm. Cobbo this year. Some good young players coming into the game. Well, Penrith got a couple, haven't they? Tago. Mm. May. May. Well, this is going to hurt. Got to hold on here, the Broncos. Well, this will be the big challenge for Selwyn Cobbo at fullback, getting your defensive line in order, being really vocal. Sometimes you have to get in the defensive line. Sometimes you have to be the fullback. We'll see how he goes. The pocket rocket. And the energizer bunny, Spencer Lenu. That little window before half time, always so crucial. Oh, Sorensen! With a step and a sprint to the line. Sorensen, what a brilliant try. He's become a crowd favourite out here, and that is why all effort. The left foot step just gets into space and then puts the accelerator down. How quick is he? Harvey Norman replay. You see back on the inside here, Palacia just clocks off for one second in jersey eight which opens up the space. The defender outside of him pushes up and then Sorensen just goes whack.
Well, he has been a brilliant for the Panthers, Scott Sorensen, since moving from Cronulla. He he couldn't crack the top team there at the Sharks in the end, but he has he has delivered for the Panthers since arriving at the start of last season. He showed great speed, didn't he? Once he got into the clear, he pinned the ears for the try line. Jordan Ricky just comes up past the football, and Palacia just switched off for a moment. And when you play these good sides, you can't switch off mm. for a split second. You've always liked Sorensen. I've always liked him as a player. You always need a player like this in your team. And those players who just work and work and work. You'll do anything for the team. Mm. So Cleary now. That one straight between them. Tries just before half time. They are coach killers. And that one by Sorensen will not be welcomed by Kevin Walters at half time. Spencer Lee knew. You don't see too many solo efforts from second rowers like that, but that was a, a great piece of individual gusto by Sorensen. The footwork and the dash to the line. Here he is again. Here's Yo. Not put on the ground. Now Edwards with a run. He goes over the halfway. It's Luai, who's done a bit of kicking tonight in general play. It goes high to Selwyn Cobbo. Look at the Panther jumpers down there. Just under two minutes until half time. Brisbane have been right in this, Andrew. Well, they have. You've got to remember, too, that without their big alpha male in Payne Haas, a one week suspension. Yeah. Ryan James now. Kick out and Lee New and Yo. Three tacklers to bring down the veteran prop. And Reynolds always got plenty of air under that. That was up there forever. But he never looks ruffled at the back, does he, Dylan Edwards? He was a bit nervy under the high ball a little while ago. When I say a little while ago, I mean a couple of seasons ago. Doesn't look like dropping in these days. So Tago and Staines. I think Penrith would be satisfied given the, the momentum of the first half to be leading here 12 points to six. And Cleary out to Coruscant and away to Yo this time. He'll give it to Crichton. And Crichton to play it here for the final time in the first half. Up she goes. They allow it to bounce. Oh, no one wanted it. And once again, Corey Oates somehow ends up with the ball and the siren sounds. That was fun. That was a good half of football. Brisbane have come to Penrith with intent. Tony Staggs, he's picked up where he left off against the Roosters. What a first half from him. But it's the Premiers by six at half time. Panthers 12, Broncos six in Friday night footy. He's going to play at the very, very top, as Billy said. I don't know if it's, if it's premature, maybe he needs a bit more work playing on the wing in the centre. But he's a once in a generation player, you can see. So it's the Premiers by a converted try into the second half here at Bluebet Stadium, and Spencer Lee New. 
a strong carry to get us back underway. Here's Taylor May this time. Kennedy racing up. And Ricky there as well. Sorensen. Career highlight for him, you'd have to say, that try before half time. And Liam Martin. So they're happy to ruck it out near the halfway here, Penrith, to get us back underway for the second period. The co captain Isaiah Yo. And Chorus out. Here's Nathan. Here's another one. A real test of a Cobo at the back. Oh! It went backwards. Just. Has anyone asked Selwyn if he wants to play fullback? <laughs> Welcome to fullback. That was one of those floating bombs from Nathan Cleary. As soon as he gets in that zone between the 40 metre line and the halfway, they're going up. Hey, Kevy, I'm happy to stay on the wing if you really want me to. They, they come to the wing too sometimes. Yeah, that's true. Kennedy. Reynolds now. An end over end. High kick. And comfortable for Edwards at the back. Some breaking news here, Danica. Lobby back tonight. He's been ruled out for the remainder of the match after suffering that hamstring injury in the first half. Okay, so Tessie New not returning. Thank you, Danica. Stephen Crichton, unbeaten on this ground in NRL football. And uh, Spencer Lee New again. Six more, oh, look at that. Six again after four tackles. They are costly. Oh, Coruscant ducked under them. Edwards is there. Edwards and a backhanded pass. Cleary picks it up off the ground. Reynolds with a desperate tackle. Surely that won't hang on. Oh, kick has dropped it. Gee. How, how did Coruscant get through there? He dummy twice and, and somehow ducked on. He's dummy, look. <laughs> well, you spoke about the art of Appy Coruscant and he just made the defence stand still and watch and then he just ducked under a couple of tackles. It was beautiful work by Nathan Cleary. Showed great patience to pick the ball up off the ground. And, and the Viliami kick out. He was thinking about who was going to steamroll before yeah. he caught the ball. I reckon as a kid, when he played hide against seek or tips, he would be unbeatable. Happy. Tips. The Viliami kick out would be no good in hide and seek with that hair, dude. He's had a bit of work done there too on the on the hair during the week. I noticed a little bit of uh, sculpting, if you like. Big Here's Cobo. The days of the short back and sides are well and truly gone amongst the younger brigade. Anyway, Palacia. James dumped there in a good shot for us out. Around the knees. Inside 40 Reynolds. No angle. Just kicks it straight down the centre of the park. Edwards once again. With a kick return. He's, he's up at 180 running metres now. He's had a triple century so far this season. He could be on track for another, Dylan. That was round one. Yeah. Hadn't played a trial and come out and perform like that. A great endurance still in Edwards. You know, Tago has been well held tonight and, and given some headaches by Katoni Staggs. Oh, Lee New wanted a six again call. Here you go, Selwyn. Have another go. This is hanging up there. Oh, it had half a peep as he took it. Yeah, well it does done. hold on to it. Well done, young man. 
and dropped the first one. But you can see he wanted the second one. He could have let that bounce. There was traffic around him, but he showed great confidence. Corey Pikes. Number 17 for Brisbane. He'll add a little bit more dash around dummy yeah, half. He's been at dummy half. Nice ball that straight to Reynolds and Walters. On to Capel. Reynolds now up and under. Trying to find the gap there between Staines and... Oh, that's a great take by Staines, but the kick, that kick. was magnificent. To think? kick back across your body like that, and he lands that ball a perfect. A metre in from the sideline, a metre or two, and then a metre out from the try line. That is hours upon hours upon hours. Working, kicking. <laughs> that is as good as it gets. He's been great all night. Now that dropout that found the touch line in the first half. And his team another set here. Kennedy driven back to the 30 metre line. Now Palacia, he's been strong. And that's a really good charge from him. He played the, the full first half. Yep. Yep, he's had he's had two games this year, he's gone the full 80. Could be on track again. Six again. So the Broncos, they're in it. And could they close this gap with another try here? Jordan Ricky. Good run from him. Lee New and Sorensen made the tackle. Fast play the ball, though. And Reynolds sweeps it out the back to Walters. Cleary nabs him. Good defence. Only tackle three, however. Pakes to the right now, Palacia. Oh, he's lost it. We well, just wrapped him, Billy. Well, that's where the good teams, they come back with shape. They don't go to a front rower and settle it in. It just settles the defensive line oh, as they pound it, it with a penalty. But, oh, oh, hang on, she's on here. Oh, what's happened? Is this a punch by both of them, Ash? Did I just hear I see, I see punch? Did someone punch? punch? Yep. We don't punch in this game. Are you classifying that as striking? What happened here? Yeah. Oh. Push in the face. I want to push. <laughs> it's, it's the open hand slap. Dylan Edwards has actually said something and. Keane's turned around and just pushed in the face. Someone gets sin bin for this. He can't. I'm going to walk him. Barefoot. There's a chance they both. To Cessna. Come on. <laughs> Wait. <laughs> You've still got the penalty, OK? Yeah. Both of them have done the same thing with an open hand strike. Both going to a bin. Yeah. Keenan! Keenan! Well, if, you, if you're at the Hunter, uh, the Hunter Expressway tonight and there's a, there's a bloke walking up the road with no shoes open on. Open hand striking, bin. <laughs> Waddling along with a big fat well, <laughs> nope. Don't stop. <laughs> don't stop. <laughs> I, think, well. I think the, the Panthers obviously get the penalty here, but they lose a fullback. And, and the Broncos, they lose a middle. So defensively, your fullback is more valuable. I think Charlie Staines might, might head back to fullback and they'll leave a winger off the edge. Face motions, punch. Can he get sent in for an open hand push? Too responsible. Oh, Sorensen with a little bobble. Here's Yo and Cleary kick out. Powerful run. Good tackle, though. Ah, 
This is good. Look at Spencer Lee new. Great leg spin, isn't it? Yeah. It is powerful. Powerful man. Inside the 20 now, Cleary over the top. Uh, Hoyter lost his footing and he, he scrambles back to tap it over the back. Yeah, nice play by Nathan Cleary. Knew that Selwyn Cobbo was up in the line. Last tackle. And just dinks it over. Great weight. Oh, build some pressure. I nearly both missed that. Watching Spencer Lee now. Coming off for a rest, he was filthy. He wanted to stay out there. What a player. He's got some, some headaches. He only plays around about 20 minutes per game. Yeah, that's the next phase of his career. He's got to find that motor. He'll start playing longer minutes. Oh! <laughs> that's Jamin Salmon. Here's his first involvement of the night. So the Panthers up 12-6 and closing on the Broncos line now. Yo for Cleary, who takes on the defence himself. Jordan, let go. And he's stopped in the tackle of Pakes and helped out by uh, Ricky. Yo now playing out wide, Crichton in there, Salmon. Damn it. Corey Oates with an excellent read off the wing. Cleary tries to kick through, it's off a boot and it's regained by Brisbane. Great play, Jordan Ricky. So it's Stephen Crichton who's gone to fullback. Did a lot of that work last year with, with Edwards injured for a period during the season. Good run, Hoyter. And Pakes now takes off on the back of that and makes 15 metres. Which will give Reynolds time to put up a floating bomb if he wants to. No, he, he kicks low along the ground. Crichton gets down low and runs it back nicely on kick reception. The NRL's free-to-play game. Pickham is back. Just picked the winning margin from four selected matches to win a share of the 100 thousand dollar weekly prize head to nrl.com slash pick them right now the score unchanged from half time here oh look at that kick out brutal run and good play the ball to chorus out six more they weren't square cleary through them, nearly there. Cobo with a great tackle. Played to Tago and Luai now. Sends a pass to Sorensen. They've got them shot. Great ball, Martin. Stains for the corner. That pass from Liam Martin was beautiful. Well, you put this down to Api Corusau, the craft, the smarts to get the, the repeat set. And then they. They go bang with Nathan Cleary, Harvey Norman replay. Goes to Jerome Luai, and he knows where the space is. They need to get it out there, great quick hands. And they get it to the speedster, Charlie Staines. Good skill, wasn't it, from the inside man? I think it was Sorensen first off, catch and pass, and then as you said, Matt, Liam Mark, catch and fire. They know where the space is. Nathan Cleary made a half break through the middle. Selwyn Coe pulls him down. They get the ball to the space really quick. Charlie Staines, 22 tries. It's good strike, right? 29 games. Uh, Billy, do you ever see him playing full? Do you ever see him as his career goes on? Well, I think he came through the ranks playing full. Oh, yeah, did he? In the lower grades. Yeah. And He's certainly got some skill. He's got a man by the name of Dylan Edwards in front of him at this club. Now, just watch him the way he moves, how quick and agile. It looks like he's fit. Oh, he's a player. Whether he could play that role like a Pappenhausen, that lightweight fullback who just bobs up everywhere and tests those big forwards when they're 
They're under fatigue. Well, he looks like a very different fullback to Dylan Edwards. They got Stephen Crichton back there at the moment. He had a couple of games at fullback last year. Nickname the Forbes Ferrari. Forbes Ferrari, that's him. I'd say he's the first Ferrari ever to be in Forbes. Four tries on the board. Ferraris yeah. don't like dirt roads. <laughs> if you don't roads around Forbes. That was the afternoon all his mates turned up at Cogra. They swapped corners in yeah. the second half. They were well hydrated. <laughs> He's bringing it around, but not enough. Test for Brisbane here now. The path. Oh, this will go close to dead. It looked like it was going to go over the dead ball line for a fraction of a second. So the Panthers stretch the margin to 10 here. And Brisbane would, would need to be next to score, you would suggest. Here's Taylor May. And yo. Been short of halfway. Cleary from Martin and Salmon. Jamin Salmon with an in and away. Capel and uh, Corey Oates there to pull him down. So a clear. Sorensen's gone through again. Scott Sorensen. Oh, he couldn't beat the fullback. He nearly scored two runaway individual tries in the game. Cleary. Kicks out wide, Taylor May with a breathtaking catch. Oh, that was too good. On the bounce at pace, that was something. That was like a soccer corner, where they just drilled the ball in low and hard. Wow, what a kick. It goes about head height. Look at this, mine's the space. Harvey Norman replay, just a bullet kick. Cross field, knows there's space out there, and Taylor May just sticks out the left hand. Wow. I've been working on that one. You can see the celebration, uh, particularly from Cleary and Luai after that try. Joey, how hard is it to kick it that flat and get the ball to the wing that quick? Well, nearly impossible. Nearly impossible. But he's worked on that, I'd say, for years, Nathan. And he's just kept it, kept it in his trick bag. Look at the pickup. But he gets the ball. When he gets the ball, he disguises it where he's facing towards the post. Oh, that was exceptional. You'd have enjoyed that one, JT. 
Certainly he did, Tomo. It was great work by Scott Sorensen when he came to the sideline, got a standing ovation from the crowd. He's played 38 minutes, 16 runs for 223 metres to go along with 25 tackles. An enormous wow. minutes by the big man. Yeah, and a try. Well, don't forget his try, JT. And his meat pie, that's right. <laughs> don't, don't forget that. And a line break. <laughs> well, he's had a rare game. Look at Taylor May. He's equal leading try scorer in the competition, yeah. along with Ryan Pappenhausen. He's got seven now. And he's only playing his fourth game of the year tonight, Billy. That catch from him on the bounce at pace with one hand, that unbelievable. Now, Cleary. And once again, the dummy half played by Coruscant there. Now, Luai. He got a call from his outside man. It's up in the air. Hey, that was a bit too deep. Couldn't get a clean run of it there. Isaac Tago. So back comes Hoyt Hat and Selwyn Cobo now. Oh, couldn't get around Taylor. He's going to go over the sideline. No. That's not what the Broncos needed there. A bit similar to last night, Billy, when Xavier Savage tiptoed down the sideline. Those wet, slippery nights. You're going to stay away from that sideline. Yeah, there was an opportunity. Just passed the ball a little bit early. Hoida, and then once and then, you get near that sideline, it's so hard to stay in on these nights. He just needed to stay down, Billy, didn't he? He had a second second crack at them by trying to get up. They're going to show some resilience here, the Broncos. And Cleary to a rejuvenated Fisher Harris after a, a break on the bench. 12 metres short, Corus out, playing to the right hand side with Yo and Martin! And the Panthers have got them on toast now. We might be about to see some tries start to rain down. The captain, Isaiah Yo, he's ball playing in the middle. He gets the ball and then skips Harvey Norman replay, which then gets his man one on one. Liam Martin, and as Liam Martin gets the ball, the right foot step. This will look great here. Going to the line, one on one, right foot step. It's a shame for the Broncos because they've put a massive fight up tonight. It's the second time we've seen back rowers for the Panthers use their footwork to create space. Scott Sorensen in the first half, scoring a try from 20, 25 metres out. And now Liam Martin, just watch this. Just watch him step on his right foot. Create the space inside TC Rabati. Down to you, JT. We spoke about Abby Coruscant's trickery. Watch him there when he comes out. Both markers from the Broncos go to the short side, and that leaves the space back through the middle there. Great footwork from Liam Martin, but again, Isaiah Yo with that soft hands to pass. crowd once again at Bluebet Stadium. Well, why wouldn't you come and watch this Panthers team? It's been a really tightly fought contest until the last probably six or seven minutes. And the Panthers have, have put a gap in the scoreboard now. 28-6 There's still 20 minutes left on the clock. Nice pass away here. That's what the best teams can do. To you, Tomo. They, they hang in there when times are tough, and then when they see an opportunity, they go bang, 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 and the Panthers all of a, all of a sudden are 28 points to six. Mm. There's a few more left in them yet, you sense. Coruscant again. And no six again forthcoming, trying to catch the markers 
Uh, offside there. Away now to Tago through kick out. Tago wrapped up. He lost the ball. He's, uh, he's knocked that one on in traffic. So nearly 20,000 again here tonight. Great turnout. 19 406. Billy. Coming to the big games the end of the year, without doubt Penrith's going to be there. How do you boot them? Well, you've got to compete to start with, and the Broncos have done that for the majority of this game. Well, you look at the good teams, the Melbourne Storm, the Parramatta Eels, they've got strike power. You know, you've got to play football. And Nathan Cleary has come into his own in this second half. And when you see an opportunity, you've got to pull the trigger. So look across their line defensively. There's, there's no real targets. Normally a dummy half or one of the halfbacks you can get at. They're a good team. Yeah, but, but everyone's beatable. And this Penrith team are unbeatable. The good teams will, will find their cracks and they'll stay at it for longer. And that's what the Broncos are, are trying to build. They're trying to build that resilience within their organisation to stay in the fight for longer periods to find those cracks. The Broncos fans, there's a, oh, there's, a, there's a team building here. There's a real team. they got some young talent. So coming up, still for the Panthers, the Raiders next week here at home, they make a trip to the Gold Coast and then back-to-back -back games. Parramatta, and then Melbourne. They're going to find out where all of those teams are at when they, they take on the Panthers. They showed their true colours at the end of the year last year. They changed... Sorry, Billy, and, the, and the Roosters on the back of that too. They changed the way they played. They played tough and gritty. 40-20. Oh, wow. Oh, oh, wow. Oh, oh, oh. That is a brutal kick. Well, if we have a look at the kick where he gets it, it's kicking off the back foot, meaning he doesn't get two or three, four steps kicking on momentum. He's kicking pretty much off one or two steps. Doesn't get any better than that oh, one. That's just the cleanest of strikes. Fisher Harris playing at Coruscant. Mitch Kenny. Denied by TC Rabadi's tackle. Corus out. Cleary with a looper. Oh, Corey Oates in one hand. He's not going to outrun the fullback. He just couldn't get going, Corey. <laughs> it takes a while these days. Reynolds fires it away to Staggs. He's up against May. He left him behind. Katoni Staggs. Does he touch the line? Yes, he does. No, he no, doesn't. He doesn't. <laughs> oh, the touchy. What are you doing with your flag there? You can't do that. It's like the cricket umpire that scratches his nose when there's an appeal. What? You know, when they appeal and... The umpire goes to put his finger up, but he scratches his nose instead. Leads everyone down the garden path. Six more. Back to back. Set restarts. Oh, there's a tackle. There's a tackle. This got ugly here. His legs got all tangled up. Billy's all right. Jensen. We're within 11 metres of Penrith's line now. There's still 15 minutes to go. Reynolds, Staggs is after it. Katoni, Staggs. Pinpoint kick, great chase. Yeah, this is when your halfback and your centre are in sync. Katoni Staggs knew exactly what Adam Reynolds was thinking. Harvey Norman replay, watch him lead for this kick. Adam Reynolds, this is his pet play. Nice little kick, just watch how he kicks it above the ground. Kicks it at about knee height, so the legs can't catch it. And Katoni Staggs, he's too quick for Taylor and May. That's a beautiful kick, Adam Reynolds. I don't know who called that, whether it was Adam or whether it was Katoni, or whether it was a look or a call. But you can see, as you said, Bill, uh, Billy, they're building. 
building those combinations. 25% of the tries scored in 2022 have come from kicks. There's a huge opportunity with fullbacks in the line and with teams getting off the try line defensively to kick in behind. We saw Daly Cherry Evans put one on for Morgan Harper last week. Billy, uh, Nathan Cleary just got put on report for that tackle on Billy Walters, which looked really ugly. His legs all wrapped around each other. Oh, it dropped or something. Mm. Great Great kick. Look. Coming up on Stan Event, the heavyweight champion of the world, the Gypsy King Tyson Fury will defend his title against the man they call the Body Snatcher, <laughs> Dillian White on April 24 at London's Wembley Stadium. Get your subscription now at stan.com.au slash event. Do not ask me. I have no idea where he gets that nickname from. Here's the tackle. Yeah, you can't do that. You cannot do that. Really awkward. Way you cannot put your legs around like that. You can understand what Nathan's trying to do. He's, he, he's, he's got up, he's stopped the ball, he's trying to get his opponent to the ground one on one. I don't think there's any malice in it. He's not trying to hurt him. We all know he's not that sort of player, Bill. That, that's you know, not we all love him. That doesn't constitute a hip drop, though. That's that's. I know it's not a hip drop, yeah. but you can't do it with your legs. Yeah, no, it looks he it's, definitely it's dangerous. His weight. He drops really his dangerous. weight. He really weight around around the legs. If you're wondering about this hip drop tackle that, that is, is very dangerous, it's where in order to get the player on the ground, the, the defender essentially just throws their hip on the knee. legs. And we've seen yeah. players do everything you can do. Medials, crucial ligaments. Nice movement. The pointer now. Driven towards the sideline, but he stays in. Well, they haven't gone away here, Brisbane, have they? 28 to 12. They've scored the last try, and Hetherington plays out to Reynolds, to Walters, to Capewell now. He offloads, and Selwyn Cobbo. Taken by Corusau and James Fisher Harris through Jensen. And a catch and kick in one motion by Reynolds. Edwards is there. No way back for him, though. Well, we're getting a great display of kicking from both number sevens here tonight. Adam Reynolds, perfectly weighted kick. Just gains his team another repeat set. Just finds the space. Boy, they've been good, the two sevens tonight. Kick. Oh. oh, he's flushed that. 60. I told you they were trying to outdo each other. <laughs> Corey Pakes to Adam Reynolds. Tago picking up the scraps. And Taylor May. Slipping over for a good top gear. Edwards, he's been good again. Stains now. There's Mitch Kenny in a dummy half as uh, the happy might might have come to the bench. They were out there together uh, for a period. Kenny now, Yo, Fisher Harris. Last tackle. Both the halves are on the left. It goes to Cleary. Oh, six again. 
Jerome Luai. Oh, fifth tackle. Uh, set restart. They're hard to swallow, aren't they? Spencer Lino! Oh, yeah! It's a powerhouse. <laughs> the change of direction, the acceleration. Eight kilos. And not that tall. Harvey Norman replay with the change of direction and then the surge in the power. Kobe Hetherington was held by Jerome Luai at the play of the ball. I think Kobe had a handful of hair in the last tackle. I don't think it was an intentional, but that's all he had. And then Kobe Hetherington is just being held on the inside there. JT? He can't do that. Well, that's exactly what I was going to say. Kobe Hetherington had a handful of uh, Jerome's hair and he's gone walking up to the referee to complain and Jerome's gone straight after him as well, so he wasn't happy with the hair pull. Now, uh, Nathan hasn't set this kick up yet. Well, so. he's taking him out of play. Well, he's... That's, that's, all he, that's all he had. Now, there's going to be people, old players, old school, say, we well, you got oh. a ponytail, you deserve to get it. But he takes Hetherington out of play here. Because he would be in that position to make the tackle. This is no try. Well, it was a desperate situation. He, he hasn't gone deliberately to pull his hair. That's, that's all he had a hold of. If he lets him go, he scores a try. There he goes. I'll get you on the way back. We'll let the kick. No, it's OK. Wow. Yeah. Well, that's a boo-boo because Hetherington is in that position. He comes across and covers on the inside and makes a left yeah, tackle, yeah. left shoulder tackle. Because he's held back, that opens the corridor for Spencer Lee and you to go through. Two wrongs might make a right, Andrew. Yeah, that's my motto. Don't worry. Sometimes even ten. Big double header of Good Friday Rugby League today and uh, the Easter Sunday clash. We'll head to Wollongong for Chemist Warehouse Sunday footy with the Dragons up against the Knights. Both teams need a win. It is, it is getting uh, almost near must-win stakes right here on your home of Rugby League Nines Wide World of Sports. A few injuries in, in the Knights camp, Andrew. A few injuries to some key players. Must win for both teams, this one. Mm. For the Dragons and the Knights. It'll be a good game. You'll see it here on the home of Rugby League. So the Panthers looking to accelerate towards the home straight here. 34 to 12. A couple of guys in the NRL at the moment I think would be near impossible to tackle one on one. Spencer Lee news one. This is a big tear away from Cronulla, the centre. Talakai. Talakai is another one. Lee news quick. Low centre of gravity. Big barrel chest. And agility. Just gets those bumper bars. Look up. at that. Just sort of wondering, you, you mentioned. After, after this kick by Nathan, we'll get to that. Oh, Corey. Oh, Corey Oates. You go, he had Bill's Bolter's odds to catch that. that. That was courageous. He never took his eyes off the ball. Look at that. Well, again, he has to lunge into the drop zone. Led with his chin. Gets there late. So oh, the next phase of Lee New's career is yes. to build those minutes on the park. He's yep. being used essentially before and after half time primarily and playing around about 20 no more than 25 minutes at the moment i'm wondering how they go about building his minutes in the game well i think it's baby steps a few minutes more every couple of weeks but it's hard to know behind the scenes how his diet is how he trains and whether he's a, a great trainer whether he looks after himself what he eats but the potential you can see there. 
it's up to him where he gets to in the game. Reynolds, oh, what a ball. And uh, Staggs. What a beautiful pass. Toby Hetherington, a wholehearted footballer. His old man was too. Palacia, and uh, it bounces back here towards Jamin Salmon. Well, it came off a Penrith player, but I think it's gone backwards. It's going to be a challenge. challenge. Uh, well, it's a bit of a miss, so maybe the video will help us zone in on what's happened. Penrith's got this challenge on tackle one. Adam Reynolds on decision that he pulls it towards himself for tries a to thread the needle again on the left-hand side of the field. Most teams trap and scrap. Liam Martin ball is played his... up by Liam Martin. Bill, He's explain to, to people at home what trap and scrap means. So basically, the, the team knows that the fullback's going to be in the defensive line, so it's it's your job to put your foot out, your arm out, and try and stop the ball. That's the initial the, touch trap backwards off. Jamin Salmon towards his own dead ball line. Let's play on at this stage. So in this instance, Liam Martin's the trapper and Salmon's the scrapper. Trapper the ball's always travelling backwards when we lose sight. As you can see, it's a scrap. It sounds like a, the name of a modern rap group. I haven't seen a knock on yet. Yeah, Jamin Salmon loses the ball backwards and regains possession and then is tackled. The challenge is successful. So, so he scraps successfully. Yeah. It's, it's that bigger part of the game. Teams, they keep stats on that sort of thing, don't they? Yeah, well, we were talking about Spencer Lenu before and trying to get more minutes out of him. Now, he's at a team that demands work ethic off the football. So, so for him to, to gain more minutes, he's going to have to get fitter because they're not going to drop their standards on the work ethic when they're away from the football, especially in defence. The yeah, Apple State of Origin series is on sale now. Be there live to witness Australia's greatest sporting rivalry. Games in Sydney, Perth and Brisbane this year. Tickets are selling fast. Head to nrl.com slash tickets to secure your seats. Always the hottest ticket in town as Luai spins it over the top. And Viliame kick out. William Martin's building his game, he's getting offloading his game, but he's getting pre-line pass. Luai runs back to where the ball was played. Tago with it now. Sends it over for Taylor May. Kick it. Fisher Harris. He doesn't know how. <laughs> now Cleary. They've got a chance out right. Oh, Eisenhuth. You've got to keep passing it. And he doesn't oh, know how. Six again. Oh, yes, he does. It's six again. <laughs> Cleary, dummies. Gets put down. Good footy. Eisenhoof, he knew all about the six again. Luai over the top now for Taylor and May. It's pretty slippery down that end of the ground. A few have, a few have lost their footing. Just outside uh, the goal line here. And the ball shifted away. And Eisenhoof. There's a big crowd still on the hill, and they'd love a, a last try. Luai, he already got one. Eisenhut doesn't get many. He wants one. They knocked over a metre out. Mitch Kenny for Nathan Cleary. That might have gone back, actually. I think it has, yep. Oh, Staines. Whacked there by Selwyn Cobbo. What sort of a kick coming this time? A more conventional one by Cleary. Aimed at the post. Hits the post. <laughs> what a back, kick. Whacked over. That's, oh, that's a, remarkable. Well, he gets the ball. Before he gets the ball, I know he's thinking probably crossfield kick. But then as he gets the ball, he looks up and sees space. Look at that. Look at the eyes look up and just sees the space. Just kicks it over. Hits the post. 
What a masterclass we've seen from the both halfbacks. It's time. You could, you so could, much time. You could have an exhibition like that at the Easter show, and you, you could have ten goes at it and not hit the post. Nathan's just done it. Bang. One go. They're in the, the mood to entertain here, the Panthers. Mm. Watch this last two and a half minutes. Fisher Harris. 13 metres out. Isaac Hurth, he wants the try. Six metres short when he played the ball there. Cleary, tap on, finds Tago. He rolls it through. Taylor May after it. Cobo covers the kick, but another dropout. Well, they've done well, the Broncos. They've got nothing to play for. The game's over, but they're defending with pride on their try line. Coach Kevin Wall will be proud of his team this last three minutes. They've got to hold the Panthers off here because they are coming. I'm wondering, Billy, if you think Brisbane... Oh, dear. They beat a few teams in the comp based on what they've done tonight. Well, I thought they were good last week. Also, yeah. they've, they've had a great attitude the last fortnight. They haven't got the result, but they're still building their foundation. And performances like this and the one last week against the Roosters, that's adding to the foundation of what they're trying to build at the Broncos. Oh, Lenu. Nearly burrowed underneath them. Mitch Kenny. Where's Eisenhuth? Here he is. Final minute of play. Cleary dances with them. The ball's knocked down. It's picked up by Luai. He'll be hard to stop here. Knocked down again. Kenny's got it. Ball goes backwards. Stephen Crichton now. He gives it away to Cleary again. He'll roll it through. Taylor May and Isaac Tago. They almost dead heat, but May has scored another one. They fought so hard, the Brisbane Broncos, to turn the Panthers away. But Nathan Cleary, you can't keep him out of the game. No try. No try. He's awarded the try, Adam G. Has he? Harvey Norman replay again. When Nathan Cleary gets the ball, he always makes the right decision. Puts a little kick in behind. You saw a kick before where he changed his mind. He was thinking pass and who gets it? So oh. sorry, what, what he said there, Billy, was that if it is no try, it might be a penalty try because you can see there's a, a push. Yeah, you just watch Tago. Stags here. Here. Pushes Tago. So if they haven't grounded it, they may well give... Well, it's a no-try. Taylor May knocks the ball on. This will be a penalty to yeah. the Panthers. Well, it'd have to be a penalty try, wouldn't it? If you want, we can just send it up before we go through us. They haven't awarded the try. Oh, they've awarded yeah, the try. They're still waiting on confirmation. So he's awarded it, but I don't think you can give it on the put down. This is a mess. A yeah. <laughs> oh, gee. What, are we, what are we looking at? Well, they, I don't think there's a clean put down here, but th does yeah. that does that influence the outcome of this? There's well, the push there by Stags prevent Tago from getting a clean shot at the ball. I don't know if it can be a penalty try when the guy that was impacted doesn't even knock the ball on. Yeah. So the play is still under review in the middle of the field into grounding here. And we're looking All right, so grounding is no good. Just having a look at the grounding here and try. any potential interference on Isaac Tago. I don't think he, he gets the ball down. It's a knock on what Taylor May. You know, Billy, I'm, 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 thinking, I'm thinking he might get this. But he, the push means he, he overcooks the ball here. Look, if, if, if he's not pushed, up to he gets this. a clean run. Isaac Tago's well, the twice. lead chaser initially going for the ball. 
I think this would be a penalty try. He gets pushed twice. Tony Stack. There's a push there. Katani Stags pushes Isaac Tago, which denies him the opportunity to score the try. In our opinion, he would have scored the try. There it is. We have a decision. That's a, a strange old way to finish things off, but the Panther fans will get the try they wanted. Nathan's, he's already taken the kick. <laughs> oh, he's, gonna, he's got another kick under the post. Well, it's been a good performance by the Penrith Panthers. Well, Billy, it's actually the, the Panthers' biggest ever win over Brisbane. Wow. And it got away on them, didn't it, it? It certainly did. There was a period in that second half where Nathan Cleary just really stood up and they, they scored about three or four tries in a matter of about 12 or 13 minutes. They're a good team and they're hunting their second premiership in two years. So Cleary finishes it, kicks it up onto the hill. And the fans are happy here. That's 20 straight at Blue Bet Stadium. Well, they are becoming unbeatable here. They got some, some stiff opposition to come, but uh, at the moment, the Panthers are six from six to start their premiership defense. Full time in Friday night footy, the Panthers 40 have trounced the Broncos 12.